ESPN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello Braves and welcome back to Braves Beat. I'm George Zaring. And I'm Micah Solashatz. How was your spring break, Micah? It was really good. I went to Asheville. What oh, about cool. you? I went to New York City to watch the struggling Mets. Nice. That sounds fun. We have a lot of news to cover, so let's get started. April is Autism Awareness Month. Today, there is a negative stigma surrounding autism, and this month focuses on getting rid of the stigma as well as providing more opportunities to people with autism. Seniors in need of service hours, many nonprofits such as Autism Speaks and the Autism Society are in need of resources and volunteers, so go check them out. Here's Mr. Johnson with this week's two words. What's up, Raves? Here are your two words for the week. Become perfect. Now, being perfect at everything that you do, it's impossible. But the things that are really important to us, we have to work to make sure that those things can be the best that they can be. But here's the key. To become perfect, we have to accept that failure is going to be a part of our story. There's no shame in failing because failure opens many doors. It opens the door to wisdom. By taking a look at your mistakes and thinking about the experiences that you have, you can learn a lot about yourself and others. Failure opens the door to strength. When we're determined to learn from the mistakes that we've made and we put in the work to prevent those things from happening again, it strengthens us at our core and in our character. Failure opens the door to gratitude because it allows you to celebrate what you do well. No matter what situation that you face, mark my word, there's always something positive that you can draw from the experience, even if it was an epic failure. Be thankful for the mistakes and the failures that you've made because those things will become your biggest life lessons, which will lead you down the road to become perfect. That's your two words for the week. Go Braves. The ending of production of The Addams Family is quickly approaching. Performance dates are on April 18th through 20th at 7 p.m. Tickets are on sale now, so make sure to purchase them soon and support our Braves. Next week is EOC exam week. On Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we'll have a seven-period schedule. Thursday is testing in the morning from 8 to 9.55 a.m., and then we will have periods 1, 3, 5, and 7. On Friday, we will also be testing in the morning from 8 a.m. to 9.55 a.m. That will be followed by periods 2, flex, 4, and 6. Good luck to everyone who has taken the EOCs. Let's now throw it over to our sports report with Chase and Jacob. Take it away, guys. Thank you, George and Micah. What a wonderful introduction. I'm Jacob Bayless. And I'm Chase Lanham. Starting things off, the baseball team traveled down to St. Pete's, Florida to kick their season off. They played three games, winning the first against Buffalo Grove, 9-0, and then lost two against the top teams from Illinois. Jacob, I heard students who went on the trip had a great time. I heard that too. They opened at home against Marymount on Wednesday, winning 11-0. Congrats to Nick Rinala on his no-hitter shutout. They play Marymount again tonight at 5 during the Reds Futures High School Showcase. The boys and girls track teams took place in the Madeira Invitational on Wednesday. The boys placed first and the girls placed fourth. They also are participating in the Coaches Classic today at CHTA. Good luck, Braves. The softball team played on Wednesday against Marymount and won in a blowout 19-5. They play Marymount again tonight at 5 o'clock at home. Come out and support our team. Moving into lacrosse. On Wednesday, the boys lacrosse team took on LaSalle at home and came out victorious with a score of 10 to 8. They look to keep the momentum going as they take on Columbus Academy on Saturday. The girls lacrosse team played away at Walnut Hills last night. We couldn't get these scores in yet. Sorry. The 13th annual Conquer the Hill is coming up on Saturday, April 27th. Click the link in the description for more details and info. That's all the sports news we have for this week. We'll send it back to the news desk. Thanks, Chase and Jacob. This Monday, April 8th, a total solar eclipse is occurring in our region. This is when the moon passes between the sun and earth, completely blocking it from the face of the sun. This is an extremely rare, rare and exciting event, and don't forget, we have a half day that day. Please remember to use proper viewing glasses to watch the eclipse. Before we conclude this week's episode, this week is National Assistant Principal Week. We'd like to give a shout out to Mrs. Linz. Thank you for everything that you do for us. All right, Braves, that's all the news we have for you this week. Be sure to follow us on X and Instagram, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And, and remember, remember, stay, stay classy, classy in Indian Hill. Hill. Who am I with here? Uh, CJ Hayden. 
Uh, I've heard a lot of talk about the cave. Uh, can I get some insight on what was going on there? Uh, it was a whole lot of fun. That's all I can really say. Yeah. Cool. Appreciate it. Thank you. Who am I with here today? Andrew. How was your spring break, Andrew? It was good. Uh, can we get a little bit about what you did? Uh, well, you know, I was in Mexico. They have uh, pretty good filtered water. You know, I'm feeling great. Feeling awesome. Other than that, just kind of hung out and just yeah, drank that well-filtered water, you know? <laughs> cool. Appreciate it. So, Seif, looks like we're going out the flow again. Good, I like it. Uh, what'd you do over spring break? I uh, spent time with family. Went down to Indianapolis and hung out with some friends as well. Cool. Well, some inclined bench it looks like too. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. Keep working at it, man.